Now let's talk about kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is energy of motion. And we can zoom in a little bit there. Good. Energy of motion. And there's a couple different things we want to say about energy of motion. One is that as temperature increases, kinetic energy increases as well. There's an equation for that, or let's say this, or a proportionality that I just want you to make you aware of. So kinetic energy, we're going to use capital K, capital E for kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is proportional to temperature. I'll write that out. Kinetic energy is proportional to temperature. We know that's temperature because temperature is a capital T. And there's one other thing I have to stick into this to make it even better, and that is a bar above this. And the bar means average. And that part doesn't play any real role for us. Um, our, what I want to leave you with for kinetic energy is that as temperature increases, the particles in the atmosphere, anything is moving faster. Liquid, if liquid heats up, the particles in the liquid, water, for example, the coffee, is moving faster. Okay, and we'll talk more about that. So, um, so kinetic energy is proportional to temperature. Average kinetic energy is proportional to temperature. Things that have higher temperature are moving faster. Things at higher temperature are moving faster. Okay. And um, that's actually one of the ideas about kinetic energy. The other idea I want to leave you with or talk about on this slide is that there's an equation for kinetic energy of a moving object. Uh, equation. for kinetic energy of a moving object. And it goes like this. Kinetic energy, Ke, equals one half mv squared, where m is our mass, again in kilograms, and V, this is a lowercase v, is velocity. And velocity is a fancy word for speed. And the difference between speed and velocity is that if you're driving and your speed is 55 miles per hour, where MPH stands for miles per hour, your velocity is going to be 55 miles per hour east. Because velocity is speed with a direction. Velocity is speed with a direction, but the, the direction part doesn't matter for us because when we do the calculation we're just going to do it with uh, this the number part that direction doesn't enter into it. all right so um, now let's go ahead and use this equation and we won't worry about where the half comes from but we're going to do a similar thing we're going to ask the question so if we have uh, one joule of energy for kinetic energy, and let's suppose that we have the same 102 gram, um, two tomatoes moving together, or I guess my, oh, I do have another thing. So I do have a little bag here I forgot to use. So this is 18 quarters. 18 quarters also has a mass. 
So 18 quarters equals 102 grams of mass. So I think that's actually, since, it, since it's all together in this little bag, we'll consider it as one thing. How fast would these be moving in order to get, so we have 0 0.102 kilograms. That's 102 grams. And this time V, our velocity, is going to be what we're solving for. Because we're going to try and ask the question, how fast does the 1.102 kilograms have to be traveling to have kinetic energy of one joule? And so, uh, let's see, I'm going to divide by half. I'm going to divide by 0 0.102. And we'll leave our units uh, out of it this time. Happy to talk about units. I heart units. But for now, we're doing the math part. So that means that V squared on this side is going to equal to 1 divided by half. 1 divided by 0.5 divided by 0 0.102. I get 19.6, let's say. And then we're going to take the square root of both of those. And I'll just get my 19.6 here now. I'll take away all of those other digits. My square root is above the x squared, so I'm going to do shift. And I get that my velocity is 4.43. And my units, oh, I didn't do a very good at units here. I'm sorry. Well, now let's go back and revisit. Well, how about this? Would you believe me if I said this is meters per second? If not, let me know. But it is meters per second. And 4.4 meters per second is, let's see, uh, hold on here. looks to be about, well, I'm going to have to look this up. I wanted to get miles per hour, but four meters every second. So if I start with this and it has to go four meters in a second, that's pretty fast. So let's see, way over here. So if I go, that was two meters in about a second. So about twice as fast as that. And that's the energy. Uh, kinetic energy stored, or not stored, kinetic energy that these coins will have since these are 102 grams of coins. Let's see, can you see them in there? There, there's my 18 quarters. Traveling at 4.43 meters per second. So that's a little bit about energy and what is a joule. We're going to see coming up that food and heating of water takes a tremendous amount of joules and that's what we'll talk about next.